Flooding along St. Charles Avenue helps police wash away an uptown marijuana growing operation. And the man accused of killing a Hammond priest is back in Mississippi this morning facing capital murder charges. Plus, the FBI is now involved in the search for a busy Jefferson Parish bank robber. Why they call him the Paw Paw Bandit coming up. Well, it's time to celebrate the cocktail. Today starts Tales of the Cocktail. A very popular event draws thousands of people to the city to learn more about the latest and greatest of drinks. And WGN reporter Chris Knight is kicking things off for us. Live the Carousel Bar at the Hotel Mondelian this morning. Hey, Chris. Hey, good morning. This is the host hotel for Tales of the Cocktail. We are with Mr. Marvin Allen. Pleasure to have him on with us this morning. In fact, you're going to make a really special drink for us right now, yeah, right? We're going to make the official drink for Tales of the Cocktail here at the Hotel Monteleone. It's one of our signature drinks, the Vucare. It was created back in the late 1930s by uh, one of the bartenders here, Mr. Bergeron. And it's kind of a tribute to the different ethnic groups of the city. Okay. You got the French with the Benedictine in the cognac. The American with the rye whiskey, the Italian with the vermouths, and from Trinidad and um, Haiti, the uh, bitters. Oh, interesting. I love it. So how long, do you know how long this has been the official drink? Of uh, the hotel? Yeah. As long as I can remember. I love it. Okay, let's That's make it. this thing. Let's, let's mix this it. thing up, All Marvin. Right. So start with some Benedictine, which is a French uh, herbal liqueur made by the Benedictine monks. This looks like it's going to be a very strong drink. It is, but it's good. <laughs> and some cognac. All righty. It's about a quarter to a half ounce of each. All right. And today's event actually kicks off um, 2 o'clock? 2 o'clock. They're doing the big Geneva slurp. Perfect. Uh, trying to get the world's record on that. American rye. And basically, we'll talk about Geneva a little later this little later, morning. Right. Because it's all about the cocktail today, right, Marvin? Correct. All right. What's and that? that's the sweet vermouth. And let me grab the bitters here. Okay, getting the bitters. And while Marvin's getting the bitters, I want you to take a look at this book right here. Um, there's going to be a special signing because this year the Hotel Monteleone is turning 125 years old. So to celebrate here at Tales of the Cocktail, there's going to be a special history seminar on the hotel, which is really cool. And there's also going to be a book signing with the book. So let's do the bitters real quick. A little Peshaws. And then let's toast Angostura. it. Angostura. And, and a little lemon twist. And we got the lemon twist, and we are going to go. toast it. To Tales of the Cocktail, kicking Stir things off up. this morning. Woohoo! I am Chris Knight, live in the French Quarter for WGNO News. There you go, a little toast of the coffee. Uh, so they're, they're they're, they have their cocktails, we have our not coffee, we'll get but the it cocktails. works. The time is 5.38, and since it's past 5 o'clock, perfectly good time to have a cocktail, maybe. Except it's a.m., not p.m. Oh, I didn't, oh, I never got that uh, distinction. Yeah. Well, today does start the Tales mm -hmm. of the Cocktail Celebration. That is true. It's a popular event, of course, drawing thousands of people to the city. They all want to learn more about the latest and greatest drinks. WGNA reporter Chris Knight is kicking things off for us live at the Hotel Monteleon with the this morning. Chris? Yes, good morning to you. We are kicking things off because today starts Tales of the Cocktail. If you see over there, Mr. Marvin Allen is making a Sazerac. We all love the Sazerac so much, especially here in New Orleans. And he's making it with a very special cognac. And guess what? We've got the producer of that cognac with us this morning, Mr. Alexander. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. Well, tell, you came all the way from Europe. Tell us really quick, first of all, you know, how big is Tales of the Cocktail here? Well, Tales of the Cocktails is huge. I, I'm, uh, I live in a small vineyard uh, in Cognac, Cognac Pierre Ferrand, in the middle of nowhere. And we talk a lot about Tales of the Cocktail. I think it really is one of the events that puts New Orleans on the map worldwide. Wonderful. And I know that you're unveiling your drink here, or your cognac here, during Tales. Let's talk about that. Well, we are a cognac that's been around the name Ferrand for 300 years, and we launch new products basically every 100 or 50 years. I think that was the last one. So uh, we have one that we're launching, which is called 1840, which is this one. 
And it's a cognac that is really blended and produced the same way cognac was made in 1840. And we actually used the 1840 cognac that we matched and used the same blending and distilling techniques to make this. And we are using Tales of a Cocktail to launch it. It's nobody drunk it in the world. The first sip is being drunk at Tales of a Cocktail. This is special. And you know what? I feel special this morning on Good Morning New Orleans because if you can see, Marvin over there is making a drink. And we're going to take a sip of it, so I'm really looking excited. I'm excited about this. You know, how do you, what is the process involved in, in creating this to make it taste like it did back in the 1840s? Well, it's a very technical question that could take two days to answer. But in a nutshell, we're using a wine that's distilled on the lees, so unfiltered wine, like in the, the good old days. No pesticides, just very naturally, so you have the same type of texture and taste. It's blended also with young cognac and super 15% of super, super old cognacs. They have like that bad taste and also it's bottled at slightly higher proof in the old days the guys like to have a bit more of a kick which this cognac has it's 45 percent alcohol instead of 40. oh my word look at that well alexander thank you very much you know you can meet alexander so many more people here at tales of the cocktail super cool event um we've got our drink sitting over here Wonderful. let's take a quick sip of our 1840 cognac Sazerac cocktail. Thank you very much, Marvin. We got so much more coming up later this morning to Tales of the Cocktail. I'm Chris Knight, live in the French Quarter for WGNO News. To Tales of the Cocktail. Thank you, Chris. All right, it's time to celebrate the cocktail. Why? Because today kicks off Tales of the Cocktail. It's a very popular event, draws thousands of people from even around the world to learn more about the latest and greatest drinks. WGNO reporter Chris Knight is uh, kicking things off for us live at the Carousel Bar at the Hotel Mondelian in the French Quarter this morning. Hey, Chris. Cheers to you. We are at the Host Hotel, the Hotel Monteleone, because today is Tales of the Cocktail. With me this morning is Mr. Alexander Gabriel. We are sipping on the uh, a Sazerac made from some of his cognac. Really good stuff. Thank you. I'm glad you like it. I love it. Well, you know what? Behind us, we've got Marvin Allen, and he's actually going to be making us another drink for Tales of the Cocktail. Mr. Allen, what is it you're making for We're us gonna now? We're going to make a proving cocktail called the Chilcano, and just put a little bit of simple syrup in the glass. Squeeze up some fresh lime. This is a great summertime refresher. It certainly is. That's right, you've had this before, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I have. And so you're doing the lime. Lime, hand squeeze. These, these tools, squeezer is great. Juicer. Oh, there's a lot of lime that goes into this drink. Nice and fresh. You can smell the lime. Look at all that. We got two more. Oh, we're good to go. We're good to go. Now adding the Pisco, which is a Peruvian brandy. About an ounce and a half to two ounces. Okay. And some ginger ale. And some bitters. Looks very refreshing. We got some bitters to top it. This looks like a, this is a very refreshing drink. The Sazerac, refreshing as well. But this one seems a little more summery, maybe? Summery. And then you stir it or shake it or? Uh, you just roll it. Okay, so he's rolling it in the stirrer. Sorry, I'm trying to get out of the way so you can see. And? You add a straw. Add the straw, and we are? Good to go. Good to go. This is wonderful. And if you come to Tales of the Cocktail, this is what you're going to get to experience. All different types of drinks. You're going to get to meet some wonderful people like Alexander here with us this morning. And Alexander, let's take a sip really quick. Here we go. Cheers. Be sitting by the pool sipping. Oh, very, very refreshing. Very mm. sweet. Very nice. <laughs> uh, very refreshing. It's wonderful at six in the morning. It certainly <laughs> is, isn't it? Well, Alexander, you're here all the way, you know, from Europe. You're here just for Tales. You're going to be unveiling your cognac. Yes. Talk a little bit about how, how important Tales is for you. Well, it's a wonderful event. Like I said earlier, it's an event that's, uh, that's in the benchmark in our, uh, in our industry, in the fine uh, wines and spirits, especially mm -hmm. spirits for the cocktails. So really, I think this event has put back New Orleans on the map for great spirits and great cocktails. And I can cheers to that. Cheers Wonderful. To that. Thank you okay. very much. You. I am Chris Knight, live in the French Quarter for WGNO News. Ah, a lot of fun. I can, he's having a good time. Yeah, he yes, like it. Yeah, he's <laughs> happy to be in New Orleans where we drink at all hours, uh, apparently. 6.17 in the morning, why not? Mm -hmm. Well, there of course, could be plenty of reasons, like you have to go to work, you... Well, we've had, we're at work, and we just had our little sips well, over I, there at the, at the yeah. bar. Just a little sip, you know. Just and and he was the, uh, 
National uh, Bartender of the Year was it? Yeah, Jackson was right. the, uh, uh, the Tales of the Cocktail oh, Tales Bartender of the, Co okay. of the Year for this year. Right. Mm -hmm. He's from Boston right. and uh, took the honor, came down here and mixed up some delicious drinks. Right. So He's dedicated. He was telling me he had to drive down because he had so much Boston. stuff to, to mix oh, up and everything, wow. too, too much stuff to fly. And uh, it's a long ride. So it took him about 23, yeah, 24 wow. hours. Wow. Yeah, impressive. no, he was great. What we'll do is we'll put that segment yeah. on our website later, wgno.com slash gmno, and you can check out yeah. his drinks that. They were over in the twist set. Yeah, mixing so up. Busting out the old in-studio bar there. Yeah. Not everybody can say that. We have one. We got to use it. Indeed. All right, let's use weather we'll lose now. It. Uh, that's true. Well, I don't think it's going anywhere. But. It is time to celebrate the cocktail today. Today starts Tales of the Cocktail. That's why it may seem like we're all about cocktails this morning because we are. It's Tales of the Cocktail. It's a huge event drawing thousands of people to the city, everybody wanting to learn about the latest and greatest drinks. WGNO reporter Chris Knight is kicking things off for us live at the Carousel Bar at the Hotel Monteleone with more. Hey, Chris. Hey, good morning. Yes, the Carousel Bar, the Hotel Monteleone, is the, the host for Tales. And one thing good about this event is that you can learn so many things about all the different cocktails out there. Marvin with us this morning, he's a pro at all this. I tell you what, you are crazy. And if you take a look down here, we've got these cute little glasses lined up. Well, we're going to learn something about this little drink that we're about to do. Right. At 2 o'clock this afternoon, uh, to toast Tales, the opening of Tales, they're going to do a uh, traditional Dutch toast called Kop Chow Chi, which is used with Geneva, which is the forerunner of the English gin. It was uh, from brandy wine, malted wine, and then added some juniper, which is supposed to have medicinal properties to it, so it was more of a medicinal thing from the 1500s. When the, when the uh, English took it over, they didn't have access to the malt wine, so they just used a neutral grain spirit and added the juniper. Okay. So we're going to try this, and the cup chow chi is a toast called, also called Dutch courage. What you do is you take a little tulip glass, you fill it to the brim with the Geneva, and then you bend your head over and slurp it up like this in your mouth without using your hands. And you're not going to demonstrate this for us, Marvin? I don't think so. Only if you do. Only if you do. <laughs> no, I don't think I'm going to be doing this. We're, we already decided that we're going to do it the Southern Belle way this morning, which is just taking a nice little sip out of the glass, right? Correct. Correct. <laughs> you know, and we're going to toast to John and Jocelyn and Hank in the studio, too. I love it. And we've got enough glasses for them, too, so we'll exactly. toast to them. We're going to do it in spirit. Yes. <laughs> so what you do is just fill the glasses up. And if you can see, if you do it properly, it's going to mound up a little bit. Okay. And this looks like a very a strong drink as well. And you said the official toast is going to be at 2 o'clock this afternoon here at the Hotel Monteleone. Correct. And they're going to try and break the world's Guinness Book of Records for the most people doing a Geneva slurp. I, what is that record? Do you know? That I don't know. <laughs> so what you do is you, you toast this, shoot it back, and then you drink your beer. Oh, my goodness gracious. Well, okay. Let's just, just take a, a quick little sip. Right. Let's to Tales of the Cocktail. cocktail. Here we go. Okay. Whoa, and that's spilling all over my hands right now. Very interesting. Thank right. you for that it's history got, lesson. It's got a little bit of a whiskey scotch taste mm -hmm. in the background there, but yeah. a little bit of the juniper also. Definitely. It, it's a very interesting flavor to it as well. We know this year at Tales of the Cocktail, the Hotel Monteleone is celebrating its 125th birthday. And in honor of that, there's going to be a special seminar talking about the history of the hotel. And if you take a look at this book right here, this is a really cool book about the Hotel Monteleone. It's going to be here at Tales of the Cocktail. The author of the book will be here signing copies of it on Saturday. So a really interesting event, really cool place to be and to have it all unfold. Thank you very much, Marvin, for being with us this morning. And happy Tales of the Cocktail to you as I splatter drink all over the place. <laughs> hey, all have a great day, everybody. I'm Chris Knight, live Good in the French Quarter are. for WGNO News. Thanks, Chris. Chuck, all chuck, right, chuck. I guess. And we're getting drinks later from Marvin. Yeah, and in addition to that, we have drinks, more drinks, that courtesy of Molly right now. <laughs>